Florence Nightingale. A good nurse not only ensures that patients get well, but also that they are treated well, with respect and dignity. Let us know about a person whose efforts ensured quality care for patients all over the world. I was just a boy when I fought in the Crimean War. And like the hundreds of soldiers who were injured, I was brought to the hospital at Scutari in Turkey. The hospital was filthy, full of rats and flies everywhere. If I close my eyes, I can still remember the smell. Over the next few days, I fell very ill. I watched a lot of my friends die from infections. One night, as I lay there feeling wretched, I saw her for the first time. The lady with the lamp. She barged into that awful place and took control at once. I need this place, spotless. For the first time in our lives, she made us invalids feel respected. How are we feeling today, Mr. Andrews? Everyone soon learned that Florence wasn't like the other nurses. Florence had always excelled at her lessons. She wanted to help people by becoming a nurse when she grew up. Her parents, on the other hand, didn't encourage this. They hated that she wanted to become a nurse. They thought nursing wasn't a job fit for a lady because hospitals were dirty, horrible places. But Florence persisted. Her parents finally allowed her to train as a nurse in Germany. I'll write to you every week. News of the Crimean War and the horrible state of British hospitals reached to Florence. So, she set out to the battlefields, taking with her a team of 38 nurses. This was the first time women were officially allowed to serve in the British Army. Every day at the Scutari Hospital was a fight for Florence. A lot of the male doctors hated the way she ordered them around, but none of them dared silence her. While you sit here, thousands are dying because of our unsanitary hospitals. But Florence's reports were taken seriously by the government. The team sent by the government discovered that the hospital was built on a sewer and all the patients were drinking contaminated water. Florence had tackled an important problem that more soldiers died due to diseases than on the battlefield. The reason for this was the unclean state of the hospitals. She fought for the cause of better sanitation in hospitals, both at home and abroad. It was because of her effort the death rate began to fall almost at once. When Florence returned from the Crimean War, she was given a hero's welcome. People wrote poems about her and letters to her. Hundreds gathered to see her, but Florence didn't pay attention to the crowds. In 1856, she met Queen Victoria. The two talked about improving the state of England's healthcare system. Florence soon went on to show that there was a huge decrease in deaths after the hospitals were cleaned, from 42.7% to a mere 2.2%. You only have to look at this. The numbers are true. But sadly, Florence soon fell sick with a bacterial infection from the hospital at Scutari. An infection that brought her with fever, sadness and extreme pain for a long time. Yet, Florence continued to fight for England's healthcare system. She wrote books, sent nurses to help the poorest of poor and pushed for better healthcare for everyone. Florence Nightingale died at the age of 90. Her work to improve hospital sanitation and health care revolutionized the field of nursing and changed how patients were treated all over the world. Good night, you old bird. You're the reason I'm still alive.